Welcome to Mel Bear's Weird and Wonderful. Today I'll show you how I made this cute little mushroom glitter tumbler. I put out at least one new video every week, so please do subscribe. If you enjoy the content, please leave me a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching. All right, so today I want to make a mushroom resin tumbler, and I'm going to start out molding some of these little mushrooms. So I've mixed up a two-part epoxy and I'm going to um, mix up some white resin dye in with the resin and then we're going to pour these. So I've just got a white resin dye from Let's Resin. Just give it a good shake. It tends to settle a little bit and we're just going to put a few drops of that into this. Mix it up and then add it to the mold. When you're mixing this, just make sure there's no streaks in it, or as little streaks as possible. You may have to add some more of the resin dye to it. And I do really like this Let's Resin dye. I've used some of the cheaper resin dyes, and I find that they settle, they streak. Um, I've had the best, best success with this Let's Resin dye, so I do recommend it. I try to only recommend things I've used. Um, I know people sometimes ask me about other stuff, and if I haven't used it, I really am hesitant to say if it's something you should be using because I don't always know. But this is one of my favorite resin dyes. It always turns out beautiful. This mold I got from Sheen, although they probably do sell it on Amazon, I'll have to look, but most of the molds that I've bought from Sheen, they sell them on Amazon. I usually buy them from Sheen because they are cheaper. If you have little bubbles, use a lighter or a um, torch to get them out, or if you happen to have a... A machine for getting the bubbles out. I definitely use that if you have one. I don't have one. I do plan on getting one, but they are a little pricey, so. They're just a little too full for my liking, and if they're a little too full when we go to attach these to the tumbler, we're going to have to sand them, so let's try to make them so they're flat on the back. I don't like sanding that much. <laughs> and again, if you see bubbles forming, just give them a little, a little hit with your lighter. I, I bought this uh, creme brulee torch from Amazon, and this is like the best thing ever. You can refill it. And I don't have any issues lighting it, which with the lighters, I have a horrible time with them. Okay, so we're going to let that cure overnight, and then I'll be back when they're cured, and we'll continue on with our tumbler. All right, so today we're going to use the mushrooms that we made the other day. First, we're going to demold them. I love doing this. I always say that every time I demold something. It's just something satisfying about it. Okay, so you can leave these the way they are if you want, but we're going to paint them. So I'm going to paint the tops red and leave the rest white. And I've got some other ones that I made before when I was trying to use some resin dye, but it didn't exactly turn out exactly how I wanted. So I'm going to paint these as well. I'm just going to use an acrylic paint on them. And make as many as you wish for your tumbler. Um, I think I'm going to make one more set of these. So I'll come back and paint these after I'm done doing one more set so I don't have to drag out the paint. But in the meantime, I'm going to start on the tumbler. And you're just going to need a metal tumbler. 
This one is one I've got from Michaels and it was already white, but it's super shiny and smooth. So I just sanded it with a sanding block just so um, it's got some grip to it. Sand off any of the shiny and then um, you can just put your resin on directly on top of this. Or you can start with a silver cup or a just plain metal cup and then prime it with um, just white primer. So either way works, just do whichever way you like to do best. And then I'm going to um, mix up about 15 mil of an epoxy resin. And I'm going to go over to my tumbler turner. I'm going to put that on. I'll come back when I'm at that point. And then we're going to use this really pretty kind of a sea foam color. I think it's called sea green, but it's sea foam to me. The sea foam glitter from recollections it's very fine they had this in a couple different um cuts i think the other one's not as fine but it was double the size of this and i'm only going to make one of these so i didn't need too much so i just bought the smaller one okay and i'll be back when i'm at my turner all right so we've got our epoxy mixed up and we're just going to add this to our tumbler and then just uh and add our glitter. So we just want a thin coat. There's other ways to do this. I find this the easiest and the quickest for me. Some people use spray glue. Some people um, use um, Mod Podge. I honestly find this the easiest way to do this. But whatever way you like doing this, just go for it. But this I find the easiest. I just put a thin coat of the epoxy resin on here and then just sprinkle the glitter on top. You want to make sure you have every piece of the tumbler covered, otherwise your glitter won't stick. I'll be back after I've got this all covered and we'll add the glitter and of course my camera decided it wasn't recording when I started this but we'll just pretend this has no glitter on it and continue <laughs> you're just sprinkling the glitter over the whole tumbler And I usually would go over it a few times. All right, and now we're just going to let this sit on the turner till the next day so it can cure. And then we're going to go over it with another coat of epoxy. All right, so our tumbler has um, cured. And now we're going to add another coat of epoxy on top of it. So I've mixed up about 12 mil of epoxy and I'm going to do the same thing. Just uh, rotate the cup and put the epoxy onto it and let it cure again. And then we're going to sand it. All right, first off, I got my tumbler off the turner and I'm just going to sand it down with a sanding block because it's got a few high edges. And then in the meantime, we're going to... Uh, paint our little mushrooms. Now if you're better at casting than me, you might be able to cast these so you don't have to paint them, but I'm not that skilled. So I'm just going to use some acrylic paint and we're just going to paint them. So these guys um, I managed to do fairly well, so we just have to paint the top. And if I'm careful... Shouldn't have to do too much on these.
All right, so I'm just going to finish painting these and I'll be back when they're all done. All right, and here they are all painted and I'm going to let these dry until tomorrow and I'll be back to finish the cup. All right, so I am back and I'm going to just glue all these little mushrooms now that they're painted. Hopefully they're not stuck to the paper towels. I think they are. <laughs> That's all right. I'm going to glue all of these onto the tumbler. Now the tumbler I took and I sanded it down so it's got kind of a matte finish on it now. That's not going to matter because I'm going to resin it again. But I'm going to glue all these down to the tumbler and then we're going to re-resin it. So I'll just go ahead and start that. So just use whatever glue you have on hand. I don't think it's going to matter. Um because we're going to re-resin this so the resin will likely do most of the sticking so don't worry too much about what glue you're going to use all right so we're just going to stick these onto the tumbler and then i'm going to let this dry um, just to make sure these have a good bond. And you could put more of these on, you could put less, put whatever on that you want. I'm just going to finish gluing these on and I'll be back. All right, so our mushrooms are dried on. And now we are going to add, um, I mixed up 30 ml of epoxy resin. I don't know if I'm going to need this much, but it's easier to mix up ahead of time. And I'm just going to coat the whole tumbler in the resin, including on top of the mushrooms. And make sure you get them really coated. Just make sure you get the whole tumbler coated again. It's a little cold in here, so my epoxy is a little stiffer than I would like it to be. So I may have to wait for the house to heat up a bit here before. Um, I may have to wait for the room to warm up here before this actually starts flowing properly. It is a little a little thicker than it should be, but it's very chilly in here. And if you need to, um, if you have some bubbles, you may have some bubbles in your epoxy, you can just hit it with your, with your lighter or your torch. All right, so I'm just going to let this spin until tomorrow, and I will be back to see if it needs any more resin, but I think, I think I'm pretty good. We'll see. I may get an air gap here or there, but we'll, uh, we'll check it tomorrow after it's cured. All right, and here is our finished tumbler, and it's still a little bit tacky. I bought a different epoxy, and... This has been 24 hours and it's still a little tacky, so I'm going to let it cure for another 24 hours, but I don't want to touch it because I keep putting little fingerprints on it, even though my hands are clean. But there you go. I think it turned out quite well. I'm pretty happy with it. 
Um, I'm going to sand off some of the high spots. It does have a few little lumps on it. Um, I'm going to sand them off and then I'm going to do one more coat of epoxy on it after it's properly cured. But I figured I'd just video it and you guys will get the idea. Quite cute. Kind of a neat idea. Something different. Um, I think I will make a topper for this and I'll show you guys that. Please do leave a comment if you want me to do toppers. Um, some of the topper videos I'm getting aren't getting very many hits. So if you guys don't want to see toppers, let me know. If you do, let me know. And then I can kind of focus on what you guys want to see in the future. So thanks so much for watching.